Has the quest to cure cancer finally borne fruit? The answer might lie in a revolutionary method currently making waves in the world of science. Picture this. Vibrating molecules, tiny yet potent, shaking cancer cells apart and effectively obliterating them. This groundbreaking technique, playfully dubbed molecular jackhammers, hinges on the stimulation of aminocyanine molecules with near-infrared light. The result is a dance of death for cancerous cells as the molecules vibrate and rupture their membranes. It's a method as elegant as it is lethal, and shows immense potential in the battle against the big C. The beauty of this approach lies in its efficiency and speed. Previous methods have always been a race against time, but these molecular jackhammers work at a pace previously unheard of. More than that, they do so with a staggering 99% success rate in lab-grown cultures, demonstrating a remarkable level of precision and effectiveness. But the real game-changer is the use of near-infrared light. This particular spectrum of light can penetrate deep into the body, potentially reaching cancers hidden within bones and organs. It's a beacon of hope for those hard-to-reach places, offering the tantalizing possibility of treating cancer without the need for invasive surgery. The potential of this method has already been demonstrated in tests. Half of the mice with melanoma tumors became cancer-free, underscoring the promising potency of these molecular jackhammers. The vibrating molecules form plasmons that latch onto the membranes of cancer cells, tearing them apart from within. It's a technique that not only destroys cancer cells, but is also difficult for them to develop resistance against. The future of cancer treatment is bright, and it's vibrating with possibilities. As research continues, scientists will explore other molecules that can dance the same deadly waltz. The battle against cancer is far from over, but with every vibration, we're one step closer to a cure. The era of molecular jackhammers has just begun, and it's shaking the foundations of what we thought was possible in cancer treatment.